DSLR Film Noob. Devin with DSLR Film Noob here, and here we're looking at the Ceramonic Smart Mixer. Uh, the best way to describe this product is uh, probably the most compact yet feature rich solution for your cell phone. Uh, it comes in three pieces here with a bottom handle, a uh, main component here for tightening up on your cell phone, as well as then the actual uh, business end of it, which does all the audio interfacing. So first, to start off from the bottom, uh, it's a basic handle grip. It's a uh, core 20 on the top and on the bottom, so there are several mounting options you could use with it. The next piece that holds your cell phone actually has three connections on there at the side, at the front, and on the bottom, which I guess are either different mounting holes for your hand grips, or I guess adding small accessories or ways to mount your shotgun mics and things like that. Uh, just to show how far this thing does extend, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 here with me, and it fits this guy with a case, which is a pretty thick case. Uh, it fits this guy just fine, as soon as I get it open enough, slides right in there. So, uh, with this, you can tighten down, and uh, you know this guy's going to hold your phone securely. So, I can definitely see this being useful for uh, vloggers or something like that, to sit here and point the mics at themselves and record themselves while they shoot. Uh, but that's not all this thing does. Uh, at the top here, which... Uh, again is also removable so that you can attach it straight to a camera or something like that you've got these two mics uh, which you'll listen to a little later when we do the sound tests uh, as well as a digital display that shows you their levels uh, relative to their output um, what is nice is you've got a monitor record slash play button here and what that allows you to do is when you plug in headphones to this you can actually listen to the onboard microphones uh, or uh, listen to the phone that's plugged in on the other end. Uh, because what most people don't realize is that uh, until you try, cell phones don't broadcast what they're recording through the headphone jack. So you can't actually listen to the audio you're capturing. So this allows a way for you to double check and make sure that your mics aren't failing and you're getting good clean audio. Uh, with a cold shoe mount on the top and nine volt battery on the back, this is a nice solid uh, aluminum construction. It comes with a few cables um, showing here the Android cable, which you'd plug into the phone side here, and then plug this into your Android phone. Uh, the battery life on it is a little short. I was getting probably a little under two hours for one 9-volt, uh, but that was a cheap 9-volt. If you use lithium-ion, you, you may get close to double that battery life. One of the best features, though, is that it does include phantom power, so it comes with a mini to full-size XLR cable here that you can just plug in. And I'll show you what that sounds like, too, with it actually running phantom power over this. One thing there is to note is that, as you can see, even when I plug this in, uh, you're still seeing levels because it's coming in through these two microphones. If you just wanted to record this right here, you'd have to unplug these mics, and then it would just show you the levels that you get from the input there. Uh, what is kind of interesting is while there's no way to mix between the two, uh, it does do a primitive mix of all three mics. If you plug all three mics in here, you'll hear all three mics on the phone end. Uh, most phones are only going to record mono uh, when you plug in the jack because there's only one audio connection there. So I don't know in how useful that is for you having three different inputs only being all down mixed without your control down to one. But still, uh, it's um, it's... It's an interesting feature that I'm sure can help some people out there. On the back here is where you've got your uh, battery compartment. Uh, I had some trouble because my batteries were actually a little bit smaller than the batteries that it came with. Uh, so I actually ended up having to take these pins and bend them out a little bit so that they provided a little bit more force against the battery here. So want to make sure you put it in the right way. But other than that, it's a solid product, and I think the sound quality is actually really good for the price that you get here, including phantom power. You've got a physical gain dial, which is really useful when you're in the middle of recording and somebody shouts, as well as just being able to hear what the audio you're getting from it. I think it really becomes the perfect companion for adding some extra audio quality in a really small package to your cell phone, 
Uh, or I guess potentially you could use it with uh, your camera equipment as well if you get the right adapter to break out the phone connection into a mic connection. Uh, but either way, you can't deny that this is a, a small, great portable package uh, with a display and meters, which is something you usually don't get in a preamp of this size. So now we'll go on to the audio test and you can take a listen to how it actually sounds. So now I'm doing a quick selfie test with the internal mics on the Samsung Note Galaxy 4. And so this should be pretty interesting because in Chicago we've had a terrible, terrible, I guess you could call it windstorm, a ton of wind lately. Uh, so you'll hear a bit about how the internal mics try to cope with that. And now we're recording with the Ceremonic. And I went ahead and put the two mics on there, faced them towards me. These do have windscreens on them, but they are very small windscreens, and they're not very furry. So we'll see how well they do against all the wind that's going on around me. And now you're going to be listening to the Ceremonic with an Asden shotgun microphone plugged into it. I went ahead and removed the other two mics. So right now it, it'll be uh, just the shotgun mic in front of me. Uh, all in all, I think that this is a huge improvement over the internal mics and is definitely an option, especially with the cold shoe mount on top. You can plug your you know, shotgun microphone right into there. You don't even have to hold it and get some uh, really good audio uh, to add to your cell phone videos. So at the end of the day, I think that this is a great way to add a bit more professionalism to your audio for your cell phones with a lot of people vlogging now uh, with cell phone cameras becoming better and better and better one of the problems with cell phones though is that they're still going to really lack in the audio department and a lot of that just has to do with size space uh, a little bit about price and priority uh, but for the most part i think this is a great solution if you do use your camera phone a lot for recording videos uh, to allow you to get some kind of professional audio input while also not uh, necessarily inhibiting you by carrying around a ton of gear so that's it. I'm Devin from DSLR Film Noob. Feel free to go to DSLRFilmNoob.com to check out more product reviews, gears, tips, and videos.